Hello. Hi. My name's Joshua Fouch. And I'm Jonas Knox. Today we'll be presenting on the group 1A Elements, the, the Alkali Metals. Metals. Yeah. yeah. Applause, please. Applause. All right. Never mind. Uh, the Alkali Metals are extremely reactive metals. They react especially with oxygen and water vapor. Yes, and they also have one valence electron, and they're very soft metals and can be easily cut. And being metals, they are really good conductors of heat and electricity. Most of them are gray solids, too. They also have low melting and boiling points compared to the heavy metals of the periodic table. And the alkali metals themselves, in order of increasing size, are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Yes, um, this is the order of the periodic table. As the list goes down, the size of the atom increases. And we actually made a mnemonic for it, you want to say it? Yeah, um, listen softly, the potato rolls confidently down France. All right, now, now let us move on. Let us uh, begin with our first element, um, the smallest out of the, the smallest in size out of the uh, elements, which is lithium. Yeah. 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 Hi, I actually don't got games on my phone. Yeah, can I have a hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper, please? You don't sell Big Macs? Give me your phone, what? dude. Give me your phone. What? No. Hello, who is this? Who is this? Burger King. Oh my, are you kidding me? Come on. Why are you eating Burger King today? It's a Friday oh. at Lent. I'm throwing your phone in the garbage. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think it's going to explode. <laughs> ah! Wow. I wonder what ha I know. I wonder what happened to that phone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the battery is made of lithium ions, which reacted with the air because that's what alkali metals do, and then it exploded. So the battery is made of lithium? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's amazing. So why don't you tell me about lithium? Sure. Uh, the atomic number of lithium, so the number of protons in its nucleus, is three, and the atomic mass is 6.941. Its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Its atomic radius is 182 picometers. Its first ionic energy, ionization energy, is 520. Its electronegativity is 0.98. And a fun fact about lithium is that it is using rechargeable batteries. See? Wow. Lithium is really an interesting yeah. element. It's very useful, too. And it is the first of the group 1A yep. elements, right? Yeah. All right. Well, cool. that's it for lithium. Let's go to the next element. And that is... Sodium! Huh, that one's good. Hey, you wanna hear a joke? It's about sodium. What? You wanna hear a joke? It's about sodium. Nah. <laughs> you, you just took my joke! <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty funny joke, yeah, honestly. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, I didn't get it, so now that I think about it, it wasn't that funny. Well, okay, well, he said... Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear a joke about sodium? Yeah. And the other person said, nah. And the reason why he said nah yeah. was because NA yeah. is the chemical symbol of sodium. <laughs> well, sodium and um, sodium is a very cool element. Mm -hmm. All right. So it is its atomic number or the number of protons is 11 protons. Okay. And the atomic mass is 22.99. And the electron configuration is the neon electron configuration plus 3s1. Okay. The atomic radius, which is the rate, uh, which is the distance from the the nucleus to the edge of the electron cloud, is 160 picometers. Now, the first ionization energy is 496 kilojoules over moles, and the electronegativity is 0 0.93. Now, an epic fact about sodium is that. It is highly explosive, yet wow. we use it in our salt to cook steak. Well, that must Except, be explosive yeah. steak. Okay. All right, now our next element is... Potassium! Welcome back to Channel 6 News. Today, I am your host, Ignatius Rainwater. Today, we'll be in the Alaska jungle. Look at this beautiful place out here. Um, today, we'll be looking for some yellow fruits. I repeat, yellow fruits. Now these fruits are supposed to be very amazing and very good to eat and filled with this alkali metal called potassium. So let's go look around for some. 
maybe over here. Let's see, let's go over here. Wait, you hear that? What is that sound? Oh my gosh, guys. We found a yellow banana filled with uh, potassium, this alkaline metal called potassium. It is so good. We gotta go back to the studio and try it. Um, this is this is Ignatius Rainwater on channel six. That was actually funny, kinda. Mr. Okor is a good teacher though. I'd say yeah, that. no, I think so too. Back in my high school days, he's like, he's the guy who made me uh, understand how electro configurations work. Yeah. He's really passionate about drama too. Wait, are we recording? Oh, sh oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Welcome back to Channel 6 News. I am your host, Ignatius Rainwater, and this is... I am Long Grant Pinkerton. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. All right, so today we'll be eating the bananas that I have collected um, uh, a couple days ago. And um, let's have a taste. Apparently they have some, they're high in potassium, the alkali metal, and they should be pretty good. Yeah. And back to Mr. O'Cory though, mm -hmm. he's a great teacher. And yeah, like, remember that time we made a video on the alkali metal? Yeah, dude, I remember that. Oh my gosh, that was so good. No, yeah, that, that your was... name was Jonas Knox. Yeah, right? no, and your your name was like Joshua Fouch or something. Yeah, dude, that was, that was like crazy. Insane. Yeah, oh, and then we saw a moose. Oh, oh my that gosh, was incredible. dude. And we recorded the video where we were like collecting. Wait. Um, I, oh, yeah, we're hmm. actually, oh, this is, oh, okay, this is bad. Um, yeah, these apparently taste really good. Um, and they do. Mmm, yeah. Wow, that was one heck of a disaster. Man, that was, broadcast yeah. was not that good. Anyway, yeah, they were talking about bananas and potassium. Mm, I, think pota I wonder why. Yeah, potassium is an alkali metal, actually. Mm, okay. It's a uh, chemical symbol is K. His atomic number is 19, atomic mass is 39.09H3, its electron configuration is uh, that of argon plus 4s1, its atomic radius is 200 picometers, its first ionization energy is 419 kilojoules over mole, mm. electronegativity is 0.82, and an incredible fact is that it's contained in banana and as an alkali metal it also explodes. Wow, so that's why they were gathering uh, bananas, right? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Alaska must be filled with many bananas and yeah. tropical fruits. Definitely. Maybe I'll go there one day. Yeah. Okay, well, our next element <laughs> is... Rubidio! Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna pull an epic prank. You see this block of rubidium I have? And you see that guy over there drinking some water. Okay, I'm gonna dump this block of rubidium in his water. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. It should be exciting though. I'm gonna tell him it's a mento, so he's gonna be completely oblivious. Hey bro, you want a mento? Uh, sure. All right. Why are you putting in the water? Well, it's a mento. Hold on. Was that a block of rubidium? How, how'd you know? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. That, that was, was a pretty good prank, yeah, honestly. I know. Yeah, I never heard of rubidium before, though. You know what it is? Yeah, I do, actually. It's one of the alkali metals. Um, rubidium has, has an atomic number of 37, an atomic mass of 85.468, okay. an electron configuration, that of krypton plus 5s1. Um, the atomic radius is 250 picometers, and the first ionization uh, energy is 403 kilojoules uh, per mole. Yeah. The electronegativity is 0 0.82. And a cool nerd fact about rubidium is that it's derived from the Latin word for dark red, which is rubidus. Our next element is... Cesium! Man, this clock is so constant. Look at it go. I wonder what it's made of. Maybe cesium? Yeah, I think I heard somewhere that atomic clocks are made of cesium. We got that, it's so constant. Come in. Hey, Jonas! Yeah? You know what time it is? No, I'm just thinking about cesium. H how do you not know what the time is? You clearly have a clock in your hand. Oh. Wow, that kid really does not listen to his yeah, father. Yeah, all he was was looking at a clock and he didn't even know what time it was. Yeah, he was really into uh, this element called cesium. 
Yeah, what I, actu is, what I actually is? know what that is. Cesium right. is, uh, the chemical symbol is CS. Uh, the atomic number is 55, and the atomic mass is 132.9. Its electric configura electron configuration, actually, is xenon plus a 6s1. Its atomic radius is 238 picometers. Its first ionization energy is 376 kilojoules per mole and its electronegativity is 0.79. Ooh. And a fun fact about cesium is that it's used in atomic clocks. Oh, no wonder he was looking at a clock. Wow. That makes sense. No? Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. Man, cesium is a really cool element. I'm yeah. guessing it explodes too, just like potassium and Yeah, probably. It is an alkali metal, so. All right. Okay, well. That's really cool. Yeah, our next element, I think, is... Fresh, 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 fresh. All right, it's payback time, guys. Remember that time that Jonas pranked me? and put rubinium in my water and it exploded? Well, I have, this time, an even stronger element. And this is called francium. It's so strong. I don't know what's gonna happen when I put it in the water. It's probably gonna make an even bigger explosion. Okay. Hey, Jonas, how, how are you hey, today? Not that bad, what about you? I'm doing well. Oh. I remember that time you put rubidium in my water? Yeah, that was funny. I know, right? Well, this time I have a mento. Not, it's not an element. It's okay. a menta mento. I'm gonna put it in a water. kind of familiar. So let's see. Did you just put francium in my bottle? Wait, what? Oh my Wow, that was insane. That was even more insane than yeah, the rubidium. rubidium. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was crazy payback though. Wow. Well, let's talk about francium. Yeah, that's more important. As well. Yeah, francium is an element, an alkali element to be specific, and it's the last of the group 1A. Um, this means that it is the biggest out of all alkali metals. So the atomic number is 87, which means there's 87 protons. The atomic mass is 223.020. Now the electron configuration is radon plus 7s1. Now the atomic radius, which is, again, the distance from the nucleus to the edge of the electron cloud is 242 picometers, which makes it the biggest uh, alkali metal. Now, the first ionization element, or sorry, energy, is 380 kilojoules per mole, and the electronegativity is 0 0.7. And an insane fact about francium is that it is highly reactive, and wow. it makes huge explosions when it comes in contact with water. But it's really rare, so it's no one uses it that much, and it has a half-life of 22 minutes. Yeah, Francium is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, so that concludes it for the alkali metals.